Hey guys, welcome back to Age of Empires 2 CBA. Today I've been given these slabs and I'm playing against the Magyars, the Indians and two others, which I'll check right now. The Berbers and the Japanese, so I'll do good against the, the Magyars definitely and also probably the Japanese as well. The Indians and the Berbers I should probably aim to avoid. Although I can do well against pretty much everyone I think. Uh, the Ethiopians, I think they need to go and get a raise, that's probably their priority. Chinese and Aztecs, nothing particularly significant to say about them. I think uh, the best thing for me to be doing in this game is to just hang around um, red and yellow's area of the map, and I should I should get a really good matchup against them. I've got uh, I've got seven. All right, okay, they're coming over here, so that's fine. I'll just go defensive for a bit. I got I got seven melee armor plus 130 HP, 15 natural attack damage. It's looking pretty good for me, I think. Yeah, Magyar Hussars, Like if you just compare the stats here, they are pretty much absolutely no match for the uh, for the boyars, boyars, boyars. I I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna say boyars. Could be wrong, but. That's what I feel like saying. <laughs> see, uh... Ethiopians could have some trouble, actually. If I can set a race for anyone, I'll set one for him. Potentially the samurai could actually do alright against me, just because they do, uh, they do a big amount of bonus damage against uh, unique units, and I think that bypasses melee armor. I don't really want to be fighting the Indians, but I will if I have to. Mostly I want to be fighting the Magyars, because uh, the Magyars pretty much have no match against me, really. Ah, oh, no match? Have no match? Ah, oh, no match. I think that's the way to say it. <laughs> okay, let's actually fight the units if they're gonna fight me. Yeah, I don't want to be fighting them. I really don't. I want to be, um... I want to be focusing on the Magus if I can. Okay, that's going fairly well. Yeah, if he's just gonna come out and keep fighting me, he's uh, he's not gonna do too well because this is a, like the best possible matchup for me, I think. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't seem to be taking down any of my troops at all there. Let's see how this is going. He's not lost. He's not lost the gate yet, so that's uh, that's actually okay. I'm gonna. See if I can weaken this gate, and uh, my aim now is to probably set a raise for Teal if I can. Looks like... Looks like they're not coming to defend him yet, I guess uh, it could take a while. Hopefully he'll uh, he'll come for that. It looks like he is actually. No. No, he's going for that one apparently. Okay, fine. He can he can get out of there. He can definitely get out. He can sneak out. I mean, I'm not going to stop attacking the Magyars because I have them completely beat pretty much. You know what? I might actually go for the castles. And then while that's going on, I'll uh, attack the gates a little bit, just because he should be nice and distracted. Yeah, they didn't do too much damage, to be honest. But again, like I, I have such a good matchup against the Magyar Hussars that it's fine that I lost all those units.
he's, he starts off in Castle Age, so um, I think it's better for him to take the razors than for me to try and get them myself. Looks like he's... Looks like he's going for the Ethiopians, actually. He only needs one raise to get um, villagers, so that would make sense. And he's going to get it, he's only got 24 health, so yeah, he's definitely going to get it. But I should be able to finish off the units fairly easily. Okay, he's come for the raise, good. Okay, he's got villagers, that's a good sign. So hopefully, hopefully if he's like a relatively experienced player, he'll start pumping out uh, crossbowmen now. And that should be all good. Yeah, he knows to keep the villagers safe, so that's a good sign at least, I think. Uh, if he uses those villagers well, he should be able to um, press a bit of an advantage there. On Castle Age, okay. Uh, that happened quicker than I thought. Okay, so let's get the... That's probably more useful right now, actually. Um, and of these masonry, I guess. Purple's come to warm me up, which is nice. I can actually... If Aztex wants to take that raise, I'm not going to complain. Although since I am... Oh, it looks like he did take it. That's fine. Since I am Castle Age, it's probably a good time for me to start thinking about getting my own raises now. I'm just going to keep the units beaten first. How's this going? Is he building? He's making... He's just walling up at the moment, I guess. Okay, so the elephant archers could be a bit of a problem. I don't think I can realistically beat them. I mean, I might have the numbers here, so I might be okay. If uh, if the Aztecs help me out, I should be okay, actually. Has he got villagers? No, he's not. Okay, so he can take that raise. That's fine. Red's walled. Okay. That's not too surprising, I mean we did see him we did see him get that raise and teal, so I'm not too surprised that he's walled up. I could potentially go into the yellow space, in fact I think I will. Since he's just spent all of his units, it might actually be a good idea to do that. Okay, he's blocking. Yeah, that's a lot of units in there for the block actually. Uh, maybe I can take Tower of the Flies here. Oh no, he's, he's moving, he's moving. I might actually be able to sneak past these if I'm lucky. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, those units are gone pretty much. So uh, let's go for this gate. It's just me who's still in these villages actually. Yeah, just me who's still in these villages, so definitely fairly safe for me to take this gate here. I don't know how many raises I need, I'm actually going to check. I don't think I've ever played as the Slavs on this map before. Let's have a look. Two raises, that's perfectly doable. Uh, who should I go for? Probably... Either of these would be fine, but I'm going to need quite a lot of units in order to do that. How's this guy doing? He's making stables... guard tower. Not like, not like ideal choices, but... The fact that he's building at all is a big step up over the last game. If you watched my last video on this map, it was uh, a bit of a nightmare. Allies just not building units and so on. But uh, I think that should probably be okay. I mean, this is like the worst possible matchup for me because obviously the, uh, the Boyars do better against pretty much any uh, melee based units and I'm fighting archers here. What's this? Monks of extra armor, that's completely useless, but I'll get it anyway. It's like Yellow's about to take this raise. I don't think we can stop him to be honest. Yeah. On the other hand, if he has just got villagers, I wouldn't be surprised if he's gonna go straight for the wall, so if I can like somehow sneak kill on them. That would be perfect, it's pretty unlikely, but um, I've not got an awful lot to be doing right now. Maybe I could go for this gate, see how much health it's got. 2300, okay. Potentially doable. 
Okay, so the fact that these units are all here spread out outside Yellow's base suggests that he's playing defensively, which I assume means he's potentially looking out for Yellow's villagers. So we'll have a look and see if there are any. Are there any? Maybe there aren't actually any. Okay. Do I have... A, I don't have enough here to actually take out a castle, so I'm going to try and go for the Tower of Flies here. And if I can successfully take that down, which I don't think I can, but if I can... No, I don't think I'll get that. Okay, so I just need one raise, and then I can, uh... That's not good, that's not good. I can easily get that raise, actually, you just need to, um... Finish off these units. I'm gonna snipe, really. I assume he means, yeah, he means, uh... He means red, yeah, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it, nice. Yes. Good going. Okay, so that's good. Uh, I think Red is now down to one villager, as far as I'm aware. This guy's pumping out camels, which should be good against both the Indians and also the... No, actually, potentially not the... Um, potentially not the Berbers, but... All in all, I think that's a fairly good choice on his part. Although, uh, Ethiopians, one thing they do do really well is crossbowmen and arbalests, so... Uh, if I feel like we're under a lot of pressure, then I'll probably tell him to start making some of those. I can definitely get this gate now, I think. Yeah, he's uh, he's still not got villagers blue, so... Should be pretty undefended, assuming that Green hasn't managed to sneak a villager in. And I don't even know if Green has villagers himself, to be honest. Let's just take this thing out. Yeah, that's definitely gonna go down. I could potentially even go into the base here, I've got quite a lot of units. I just want to actually uh, safely get villagers in first. <laughs> this team noobs. <laughs> Out. Bye. Oh, come on, man. We are winning. But... Winning that well? I don't know. Okay, well I did get a, a load of units into his base this then, so... It was looking good for us, and we also all have, um, we all have villagers ourselves, so... Yeah, I do have villagers. I was just wondering where mine were then. Let's go with... I think... Shame blue and green stuck so hard against teal. The knives are out. The knives are very much out. Uh, okay, so as the Maggie's, uh, as the Slavs, you want to be making... Normally you want to be making infantry, actually, because they get their splash damage infantry, but... I figure in this case, I don't know if I get Paladins or just Cavalier, but either of them should be fine, to be honest. Let's go with Blast Furnace. Looks like the opposing team are ducking out of the game. Yeah, infantry damage adjacent units. So I don't think I'll be using that tech, but... It is a good tech under normal circumstances. I don't know how useful it is in CBA when you generally don't want to be making infantry units, but normally it's good. This guy should be fairly beatable, looks like everyone's out apart from him now, I assume he'll be quitting in just a moment. But if not, then we'll be able to go in there and finish him off ourselves without too much trouble. In fact, to be honest, it's not even worth building stables anymore, I might as well just go straight in for the forward siege workshop. Yeah, we'll be able to lock him into his base before that becomes a serious issue. Bloodlines, that's actually incredibly useful for the Boyars. Should take me up to 150 HP. And this guy is completely locked in his base now. He won't be, yeah, he won't be coming out to threaten my villagers, so... That's all good, and he just quits there and then. Okay, so, um, my opinion of that game, it was a good game, I enjoyed it a lot. But, uh, I think, I think Blue probably ducked out a little bit too early. Uh, I do, I do... Th I did feel pretty confident we'd win, and I think that he was right to assume that he would lose, because I did. I do think that was what was uh, looking like the uh, probable outcome, but I don't know. I assumed that he was having some kind of argument with his teammates, which is actually very common on this map, and he just decided to quit early. But uh, I think that would have been a bit more interesting if he had held on a little bit longer, although... Although, yeah, since uh, all four of us had villages, and as far as I'm aware, blue and green didn't have villages. I don't know if yellow did either. And it was just red with villages, really, so I can see why he quit, but 
Would have been nice to just uh, win that the normal way. Let's have a look at these stats. I actually got more losses than I thought. I guess I did send a few a few batches of units into the castles to die, which uh, probably didn't help me very much, but still, I think that was a fairly good game for me overall. Purple did extremely well. Purple had a great game. Purple definitely, I can say, did a great job in that game. Uh, he walled me up. He sniped Red's villager. He, uh, he got his own villagers pretty early on. And just generally was good support for the team, so definitely want to give him credit for that. But yeah, that's about that for that game. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.